Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitching and Embroidery and Design. I'm going to show you a uh, good use for the text file that you notice uh, gets created whenever you're using So What Pro. Uh, I've had people ask whether or not you need to delete that TXT file. Uh, what that does is it saves your color information. Anytime that you uh, save a design in So What Pro, it also saves your color info for when you open up the design again. And the TXT file that's created is always in the same direction directory as your original file. A, a nice thing that Embroidery Library does, and also Urban Threads, which is also part of Embroidery Library, is whenever you purchase a design, they also uh, have a text file that you can download. So um, after you download your design, well, first I'm going to download this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's just download it. I usually just download it unzipped and I'll save it in my um, test folder or temp folder just to show you what I'm doing here. And we'll put that there. And then now we're going to um, also download the text file. Let's click view on here on my design. And if you notice the color change sheet on the embroidery library design, uh, you can print your design off so you can you know have all your color info here. And you can also um, download a PDF of it. This shows the information about the number of color changes and the number of stitches. And then this is where you download your text file. And I'm saving it. And I'm going to save it in the same directory that I saved the other one. You can see it's a TXT file. And you don't see the uh, other file, the original uh, PES file that I downloaded because that's a different format. So if I click All Files, then you will see it. There it is. And it's important that you have the same name as your file for uh, so a pro to see it. Okay, so let's do this. And then just to show you something later, we're going to download it again. And we're going to change it a little bit. I'll just call it example. And click save. Alright, now let's get back into our Sew Up Pro. And we'll bring that file open, the one that we just downloaded. I know I have a lot of files on my computer. <clears throat> Oops. Well, usually that will pop it up. Okay. All right, now we'll open our design that I just saved. And that's a really nice dragon. I love it. And this is what I was talking about right here. If you look at color file, this is your file information. And if you click here, if you've never clicked here before, you'll notice there's a drop down. So if I click this, you can see the two different files I created. So this it will be by default the one that comes up because it's got the same name as the file that you saved. But if you wanted to, you could also call it something different, have a different set of colors that you want to save, and that way it will save those. So right now what we can do is we've got this C9746. What we can do is make it this color here. That looks really pretty, actually. You file, save as. And let's call it uh, red because it's like a red color. Okay, we'll close it. Okay, now we'll bring up the design again. 
Only we'll bring up the original one before we change the color and name it. So there it is, it's blue again. Now here's what's really cool is we, we click this, click the down arrow, see all the files are still in the same directory. I decide I want to make it red. All I gotta do is bring up the file that I named red. And and also I can go back to the original one that I downloaded from embroidery library. Remember I also called it example in addition to having this one. So I can click this and it reverts back to the original. So I hope that explains that. If you have any questions, please ask me. You have a great day. So thank you for stopping by.